Sup nerds, I'm Tom. I'm Wes. And this is going to be a quick video for two really quick games that are basically the same game. We're going to talk about how they work and what's different about them today on Shark Tank. <laughs> So in both these games, Kites and Skyrockets by Floodgate, the premise of the game is you've got all these timers going simultaneously and you don't want any of them to run out and you're trying to get through essentially the cards in the deck. I guess Skyrockets, you're trying to get to the end of the track. Kites, you're trying to get through the deck. Correct. But you play cards, you take turns playing cards to flip over timers. And so you have to kind of, oh, this one's running out, oh, this one's running out. And you are trying really hard to keep all the timers running. Yeah, so it's co-op, obviously. Kites is probably the most straightforward. Um, you have a rainbow timer where any card that you play, or any single card, because their cards will either have one color or two colors on them. If you play any single card, that'll let you flip this uh, rainbow timer. And then there are some challenge cards, but pretty much that's it. Like, that's all you have to do. It sounds like it's a really easy co-op game, but it is not. Especially uh, the more players you have and the, with the challenge cards in particular. So the challenge cards will, uh, when you draw them, they like kind of force you to play them on the next round. And there's either, uh, you know, you when you play it, uh, people can't talk anymore. Uh, when you play it, everybody has to swap cards. Or the worst one is the Storm's Coming, which actually you do announce when you draw that one, which makes sense. But that one is, uh, when you play it, you flip all of the timers. Those make it exponentially harder like you will probably have a decent win rate with just the base game but when you add in those challenge cards not only like okay you have to swap a card with somebody so that's not that hard yeah but it takes up your turn you have to do that on your next turn and if somebody's like i don't have a yellow you better play a yellow on your turn well i do have a yellow but i have to play this card so we're all screwed yeah the other you know? thing is when you have like i have a yellow but it's also a red and i don't want to put red right now because red. red's yeah. about to run out so i should stop flipping these and pay attention to what we're filming no, no um, just you, you talk, I'll, I'll flip. Mechanically, it's a really simple game. Again, you just play a card and flip a timer. The events and stuff make it a little different. And the the deck in Skyrockets definitely can mix up how that works exactly. Because right. Skyrockets is like a scenario-based game. Yeah. Sky, kites is what I described. Skyrockets is... You let the red run out. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the hard part about the game is the stress of trying to play, trying to... Because you get to play one, draw one, and then you forget to draw because you're flipping timers over, and then this is running out, and that's running out. And they aren't the same amount of time either. Yeah. They are, like, the red is always the sword. Actually, I'm not 100% certain about the variation in Skyrockets, but I do Pretty know sure for red's sure. The shortest. I do, but maybe that's just the Mandela effect, where you think that you've that's seen it. That's not the Mandela you effect. You think you've seen it be shorter, but it's never been shorter. He doesn't, Curious George doesn't own a tail. Own a tail? God! Damn it, I can't talk today! The hard part about the game is the stress level, the cooperative trying to play things, and a little bit of the luck of the draw. Yeah, you have a to, little bit. A little bit of trying yeah. to get the right color. Um, but if, if you don't have the cards, you just have to go faster. Yeah, for real. If, if I see somebody going, hmm, now what, what should I play? I'm going to smack you. Sometimes very early on, it's a good idea to, okay, the game just started. Okay, let's wait and let this go down a little bit before I play this again. But the idea if somebody's like, well, I have yeah, I have red and red's going to go out. But I, I feel like if I wait a couple more seconds, I'll catch it right before it goes out. It's like, no, it's not just about maximizing because yeah. you flip that, right? You're like, oh. I'm going to wait until it, it is almost all the way out. And if I flip it, that maximizes the amount of time before we have to flip that again. Well, the only card the next player has could be red. And now you've just screwed over everybody. Yep. You've made it worse, right? So it's really just a speed game. Like there's strategy and wanting to know what to hit when. But at the end of the day, you just got to play really fast. We didn't even talk about the final showdown in Kites where um, when because you have to play through 100% of the cards. You have to, the deck's got to go empty and you got to play all the cards from your hand. When the decks are empty and all you have left is your hand, you can no longer flip the rainbow timer. So then it's just go as fast as you possibly yeah. can. And uh, I know I'm focusing on kites a lot because Skyrockets is really cool and there are a lot of scenarios and we have not played all of them. Nowhere near. I've played probably five or six. And it does seem that the harder ones do tend to just remove your agency. Uh, one yeah. of my buddies pointed that out to me as we were like flipping through, like we're like, oh, let's play a really hard one. We played this a bunch. Let's do it. And he was like going through the back of him. He's like, a lot of these are just random stuff. Like you have to just draw from the top of the garden. You have to play that. And it's like, yeah, that'll make it harder. But then you're just doing a thing. And are you really playing a game, making choices? Oh, there is also a encore or whatever little thing. You open an envelope in Skyrockets where it gives you some more cards and 
there's some other stuff in there I guess I won't spoil, but it's really not that big a deal, and it makes me look at that envelope and go, like, why the f*** was this in here? Like, what is, what is this? It is a really fun game. It's super easy to teach. Sleeves. There's sleeves. Oh, there are sleeves. Are there sleeves in the box? Yeah. Oh, the sleeves that in the box. That was, not a, that was not an extra. These acrylic tokens might be an extra. I can't remember. Yeah. But the sleeves were definitely, they were in that box. Unless did, we, did we get a deluxe version? I don't remember. I do like Skyrockets because it is more challenging with the events. Um, you have the tokens that if a timer does die, you're not just like, the game's not completely over. You have a certain number of failures that you can have before the game ends, um, which definitely helps with the harder challenges that have things like communication, like simultaneously playing yeah. cards and all, all kinds of different stuff just to, to mix up the game. I think I prefer Skite or Skites. Wow. I think I preferred Kites just because of the simplicity. I think I prefer Kites too. If I had to only keep one, I would probably keep Skyrockets because you can get almost the same game from as Kites. You know what I mean? But honestly, I feel like Kites is more accessible. Yeah. I, and really, they aren't that different. Um, I'm glad I own both. You definitely don't need to own both. Uh, pick whichever one sounds better to you because really the difference is there's about like a 15% difference. But either way, I mean, they're they're probably cheap enough where you could own both. I mean, yeah. I own both and I'm glad, again, I'm glad I own both. Um, I do, one of my buddies is like, oh, I would never play Kite Skin, I would play Skyrockets. But it's not for, like, this is the more gamery per thing. Yeah. You know, this is for the, the gamers in your in your group. This is for, like, your family, but, like, it's still going to be challenging for your, your gamer friends if you use the challenge cards. So, but, and again, I think the thing that I liked better about Kites is that it's not a super gamery game. It's more about just fun. You know, it, it's it felt a little more beer and pretzels y. Mm -hmm. um, I could see, especially with more complicated events, you like, I need to be sober for this game. Yeah. Whereas this is a lot more like hanging out at the bar and you pull it out. Um, Ooh, this would be a great, because we, we play games at restaurants an awful lot, and we made a joke once about playing kites at a restaurant, but you could totally play this at like a brewery. Yeah, that'd be yeah. perfect. Um, buy it. We will have purchase links down in the description below where you can get a copy of either or both of these games right above our link to Game Toppers, which we play on here. We don't take this to the brewery, but um, you could, could because it's yeah, portable. You, it, it, you could. The, the, this is portable. It does unhook here in the middle, but these play mats, I've actually taken these play mats to my game night at various places. Uh, usually not a public place. I would take it to, I meet up in the basement of a church a lot and I go to other players' houses. So there's that. I wouldn't take this play mat to a brewery, but the play mats are uh, transportable because you can roll them up and then you have this little bag thing you can put it on your shoulder it's pretty dope uh, game toppers is awesome but the point is down there there's a lot of things that you can click on but the one thing we definitely would very much so want you to click on is the subscribe button so that way when we post a video once every six months you get a notification and then you'll never be bored yeah <laughs> do they is there? I've never seen Shark Tank. Is there a guy who's like, today I'm Shark Tank. <laughs> Steve tries to make a banana float. <laughs> <laughs>